what's up? Welcome back to Beastly Garage Kicks and Whips, and I am happy to finally be back behind the camera again. We all right, all right. All right, let's talk, let's talk. I was on vacation. Yeah, I took a little bit of time off for Memorial Day weekend to spend some time with the family. We went down to Bethany Beach, Delaware, and uh, it was all right. It was a good time with the family, and it's always nice to be off of work, especially out of this house since I work from home. Sometimes it feels like you never leave work. But uh, yeah, we headed down to the beach. Um, nice house, we rented out a house. It was like in a private gated community, you know, the fancy kind. You gotta do, 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 to open up the uh, gate to get in. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, on the first day we arrived, the air conditioner decided to completely just conk out on us. So uh, yeah, it was pretty hot at the house uh, that week. I guess the management company did their best to try to accommodate us. But uh, yeah, it was we, it was a little bit of adjusting to get getting used to to being warm because I, I keep this house pretty frigid. I like to be cold. A couple issues maybe, and also with the locks, we got the wrong key and locked ourselves out at nighttime. And I had to do a little Philly style jiggy jimmy 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 to get in there. Also, it was directly on the beach, and it wasn't a private beach. When we went to go mosey on up to our beach that first morning with all of our gear and our chairs and our coolers and everything. We were welcomed by a sea of trucks backed up to the beach. Apparently, this is a public beach that trucks can, and cars can drive on, and they all drive on and back up and fish from it, but carved out a little spot there, and, uh, and I just enjoyed my time. You're not gonna stop my groove. But while I was there, of course, I did have my phones with me. I don't go anywhere without my extra phones, so I was keeping an eye out on just one release, and uh, last week, you know, the big release was that uh, LA to Chicago, I keep mixing them up. The LA to Chicago, and then they also had New York to Paris. I took an L, I took an L on the LA to Chicago's. Um, I did try on the three phones that I took. The internet there was also uh, sucky and my cell didn't work. Uh, inside the house, there was no cell service. I, I think my wife might have picked this on purpose, just so I, I couldn't be on my phone the whole time. I think it was like made so we could have quality time together. It worked. It worked, it worked. The sneakers app did a little thing that it gets me every time. Whenever you're gonna make a game out of it, if you're gonna make it a game, guess what? I'm in, I'm gonna play. What? What you want me to do? You want me to find something, scan something? I gotta scratch something? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And they got me, they got me with the uh, with the New York to Parises. So I did end up copying those with that little scan thing you had to do. And uh, yeah, so I, I ordered those, I think it was last Thursday, and they were here when I got here. Um, also, when I got here, we got back yesterday, uh, the power decided to go out. Someone ran into a pole around the corner. So uh, since yesterday afternoon up until, it's 5 p.m. now, up until about an hour ago, we had no power here. So I went from no AC uh, on vacation to come home to immediately have no power and again, no AC. So I'm getting quite used to being warm. Um, but I'm glad that the AC is running right now, house is starting to cool down, getting back to that nice frigid uh, morgue type feel I like in here. But one good thing about going on vacation was that I was able to put the rooftop box in my car. And uh, those of you who are new to the channel probably don't know that uh, on our Audi wagon, I have a rooftop box that I bought and I only use it on vacations. And, and that's not up to me. That's because some people don't want us to use it all the time. I, if it was up to me, I'll be, that thing will be on the car all the time. But I think it looks damn cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's just go take a look at it real quick. All right, so there we go. That is our um, Audi All Road. This is one of the coolest cars uh, I think I've ever owned. Look at this bad boy. And I love it. I get to put that roof, roof box on when we go on vacation. I always keep it on for a couple days after. Sometimes I put it on a couple days earlier. And uh, yeah, I like the rocket like that. You know, wifey, not so much. But uh, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a cool look. And uh, you would think that box was actually made for that car. But no, I got this box um, found it on Craigslist. It's a Thaw, you know, T-H-U-L-E, Thully, whatever it is. Anyway, it doesn't come from Audi. Um, I peeled off the Thaw sticker, got this off eBay. The, um, it's like an emblem or a decal, whatever. Stuck it on there, got some Audi badging for the back. And boom, I know I'm riding past other Audis and they're probably like, I didn't even know they sold a rooftop box, but look at it, it got the gray. It matches the gray on the sides and it has that stripe there. It's just mean. I think it has 
a lot of character to the car. Only thing I need to do to this car now is just slam this bad boy. So here you go right here. This is a good little side shot. The Audi with the roof top box. That car is dope. Give me a thumbs up if you like this car. This is a dope car. You don't have to do like a uh, minivan. You know, you could be a family man and get this car right here. I think we could fit four people in this car with all of our stuff for like a week, including boogie boards, chairs, umbrellas, everything up top. And, and we do it, we do it big. I also picked up a truck. I bought this truck last week. You can barely call it a truck. It's so damn small. It's a four cylinder, it's a five speed. But uh, I just need some yard stuff done. And, and having a truck for ne the next month will help out greatly. And uh, so I just got it just to get some stuff done around the house. Then after that, I plan on just flipping it and uh, get my money back. Probably won't make much money. As long as I get my money back and break even, it's like a free truck for a month. So anybody interested in that, it will be for sale shortly. And uh, yeah, it's a two owner truck. Well, I'm the third owner. This would be an awesome candidate for like a um, for like a V8 swap. Or, I mean, if you're thinking more radical, maybe a 2JZ in there. Throw people off, pop the hood. You know, 2JZ with a single turbo, six speed manual, and a GMC Sonoma. Man. All right, so let's get back to the sneakers. All right, so now we're back. Let me get you uh, nice and straight again. There we go, there we go. Wait, 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 wait. There we go, there we go, there we go. Reed, go ahead and put a thumbs up if you think I need to rock that rooftop box 24 seven, seven days a week, 12 months a year, 365 days a year. Wait. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I did get a delivery. It was sitting here. I don't know how I feel about these shoes. So let's just go through it together. You know, like we do. Let's just, let's just open it up. And I guess I need something to open it with. I don't have my trusty screwdriver, but I got a pen. Here we go. We got ourselves a Nike box standard. No drills, Nike box size 10 and it is Air Jordan 1 High OG Defiant. The color is light bone black crimson tint. Retails for $175. Now is that because this is a premium shoe or are they raising the prices on us? Is Jordan just slowly trying to slide that extra $15 in without us even noticing? I know it's $15. Well, I would say that's like three cheesesteaks, but nah, these days, that's like two cheesesteaks or a cheesesteak and some fries. The tissue paper stuff has got some type of design on there. Where they at? Where they at? There they are. There they are. And there they go. So let's pull them out. da 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 And da da Let's start with the one with the lace bag here. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. So we got a, um, oh, I guess that's like a pink one. Which one is crimson tint? I guess this is more of a crimson tint or that, I don't know. Shit. That's like peach and pink. Hot pink and peach. And then you got like gray. All right, and then black laces. So you're getting a lot of laces in these new Jordans. It seems like they're just, just throwing us extra laces. Is that the extra $15? Let's put this one up. There we go. So let's just go around and take a look at this this bad boy. How's the quality on this? How's the quality? I like my stuff nice and old and wrinkly. Uh, it's a, it's okay quality. It's not the softest. Let me see something. Let me get this out of here so I can feel it. I can feel it now. Yeah, it's 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 not bad leather. It's not it's definitely not bad leather. It's not premium leather, but it ain't like you know, I always go back to it. It's not that old Air Force One leather from 1997. This is this is this is okay leather. It's just not super wrinkly, it's not super soft, it's like a good in-between leather. Now that leather there, that leather right there, that's that's pretty soft leather. That's that's good leather. It's not. I mean, I mean, it is. I just said it's not, but it, it is. It's it's that's pretty good leather. Yeah, it got a little little wrinkle in there. So it's it's not bad. It's not bad. And then the back, yeah, it's okay. So it, it's it's a uh, on a leather scale of uh, A to D. It's like a B minus. 
That's in my opinion. It's like a B minus. Well, definitely seen worse. Um, it's probably the same leather that's that's comparable to my. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, it's comparable to my Yin Yangs. I have Yin Yangs I wear all the time. They're the, all black with the leather, the um, white swoosh and the white bottom, the white midsole and the black bottom. It's the it's same leather quality as that. It feels exactly like those. So it's good colorway. Uh, easily wearable you can you know it's almost like a daily wearable type shoe if you leave it like this i would love to take this coloring off to see what's going on underneath how it would look um i, I saw it with like some of it taken off like how they have in the pictures uh, i just take the whole thing off i would just pick a color pick the panels that i want removed and i would mismatch it like that um even i even think it'll be cool to do a like a crisp down the middle like one side like that and then leave the other side normal or something like that or vice versa like like half here like pink gray and then on this side gray or gray and then pink you know what i mean like like do something crazy with it if it doesn't look good then you wipe everything off you know what i mean start but start with trying to do a design first and if it doesn't work out then you just go to the oh, i'm just gonna wipe it all off that's what i would do personally but I'm gonna tell you the biggest thing I don't like about this shoe. I'm gonna tell you why this shoe is not selling out like the other one. Well, first of all, it doesn't have the Chicago colorway underneath. I mean, duh. But this shoe would, would do much better numbers if the freaking bottom wasn't white. Jordan brand. No one likes white bottoms on the Jordan 1s. It don't even look right. It's And it's not because they get dirty. It just don't look right. You need that bottom to be a color. If this was like, it should be gray. Even if it was just gray, if this was like that light gray color, these would be like a hundred times better. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about, guys. You know, I'm not lying. If the bottom of this shoe woo, was gray, these shoes would sell a lot more. It is what it is. I don't, I don't make the rules up. I just know how it is. This shoe will look a hundred times better if the bottom, not the whole midsole, you know what I'm talking about. Just the tip, the bottom right here, and then the whole thing was like gray or black. Any one of those colors would have worked out better. All white bottom shoes, Jordan ones, to me, suck ass. And these, mm, they puckering. Because man, I can't rock with them when they look like that. I just, I need that black bottom. I even like mids that got the black, not black bottom, it don't have to be black. It just has to be the colored bottom. Is it just me? Tell me I'm not alone. Tell me I'm not alone. I don't like the white bottom. I can't stand when the sole, the, the midsole and the bottom sole was all the same color. That right there, that's the big no-no. So that's where I think they screwed up on this shoe. If you're thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and do like a sole die-in, uh, nah, I'm, that's not gonna happen. I, I don't, I'm not gonna ever do a sole die thing because I want the shoe to be durable. I'm not worried about it rubbing off and stuff. That's not something I'm ever interested in doing. I wanna see how they look on foot. I'm gonna do that thing where I do the on foot like right now because I don't care. Let's go. Get the sandal, just look at the shoe. All right, there's the on foot. There's the on foot. Actually, I got gray, I got gray pants on today, so this would be like an outfit that I would wear with these. And uh, yeah, my legs got all scarred up from doing that tough mudder two weeks ago. So. Don't be commenting on my scratches, because they were hard earned. I fought for them scratches. But there you go, on foot. And don't talk about this not being an on foot. It's a freaking on foot. It's on my foot. Here we go, here we go. So, oh, let's go to the light, let's go to the light. Here, here, here we go. How about that? What do y'all think? I would not wear the black laces with them. No way, not with this black tongue. I would go with uh, the gray, would probably look good. Or that hot pink would probably look pretty good too. But, um, I mean, it, it ain't bad. I, I, 
I gotta stop dogging them out. But damn, if they would have had a freaking gray, dark gray sole or black sole, they'd be 10 times better. 10 times better. That white sole's killing it for me. Killing it. All right. So, guys, my opinion is, um, I don't want them. Nike, you got a pair of, they still fresh. Fresh shoes coming back to you. Actually, Nike's good anyway, because you can wear shoes up to like 30 days worn and return them for full refund. I don't know if y'all guys knew that, but I've done that and they take them back. It says it in their guarantee. Wear them, try them out. If you don't like them, we'll take them back. 30 days. So, I'm not doing anything slimy. It's in their, it's in their whole, whole uh, return policy. But yeah, I ain't gonna keep these. I don't like them. Um, I knew it when I got them that I wasn't gonna keep them. I don't need them. So right now I'm saving my uh, money for things that I want, things that I need. And uh, I think I'm gonna end this video now. I just had to break that vacation seal, get back to work, get back to making videos, get back to being in front of the camera. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and hit that dislike button twice. Comment down below. I always try to respond to every one of you guys' comments. And subscribe if you didn't already subscribe. Thanks to all you guys who have already subscribed and riding with the Beastly Garage channel. You know what I mean? And I'm out of this jaw. Later, guys.